I got a couple of weird ones. Um, for anybody that knows his family, we looked out in this old white house. My dad's an avid hunter. So we had deer heads on these walls. Well, me and my younger sister were up late one night. And we noticed that the wall that's facing off to the west of our living room was just shaking. It was really weird. Like, the deer head was moving, but every other wall that was in the house that had something on it, nothing was moving. So we're freaking out trying to figure out what's going on. So I run outside, take a look. There's nothing outside causing us to move. None of the other walls were like, doing anything like that. We couldn't figure out what it happened. So I couldn't find out about, I don't know, four or five months after that, same thing happened to my dad. Now my dad is not a believer of that stuff. Couldn't figure it out. But the wall that's right connected to his bedroom starts shaking and he freaks out, jumps up, and starts running around the house trying to figure out what's going on and can't find anything. So that was the one. The next one was, I was in my room one night laying down and I keep hearing something. We had a little chihuahua that we always had chained up and he would, you know, stay in his camp. We never had a problem. Now, in order to get in my room, there was one door in and out and it would go around and into my sister's room. And then there was no way out from there. So I kept hearing something. It sounded like him at first, but it would start at my doorway and run all the way around my bed. And then would run into a room. But it would stop. So at first I didn't think anything of it. But it kept doing it. About four or five different times. So I don't know, I couldn't explain it. I, trying to figure out what it was. I went and checked if it wasn't our dog. Dog was chained up. So as it was doing it, I started freaking out. And I flipped my light on and looked to try and catch it right beside my bed, but I wouldn't see anything but you'd still hear it take off. It was about the only two real weird experiences that I know of. I know my sister's had a few more experiences. A lot of stuff that we can't explain that happened around that area. I mean, it just it was crazy. The house ain't there now, but you know, I still touched something in there. It was really good. <laughs>